is March 29th, 24. Oh, it's got a lot better. Um, a couple nights ago out North Canton, some lady screamed out. I went to Judge Ludic. He said he didn't know anything about it. Now, this is like the fourth investigator that's went to him. Okay? And he didn't know. And he felt, well, he's, they said he felt bad. Those evil people used his names to do those crimes to her. And he didn't know they were using his name. And she was sitting in, he feels horrible. She was sitting in his courtroom and didn't say a word. And her ex-husband hired those evil people to do those horrible things to her. And then found out they were using his name to get away with it. And he didn't know anything about it. I told you, it's been the drug cartel where they kept saying they used me as a pawn. And that was a bet between the two drug lords. Okay. They were fighting over this area. The cops taped them. Okay. They're fighting over here. One's the Rocky. The other one's supposed to be a Russian. Okay. They're human traffickers. All right. They try... They tried to frame uh, retired Judge Pete Weir on, on March 20th, 24, in Walmart 62. They were laughing that they even made Pete up. They made everything up on me and everything up to get away with this. Whoops, sorry. Uh, get away with this. They made everything up. Okay, even Pete. Okay. But the problem of it is, there was a real retired judge. He has to be at least 75, 85 years old. They framed him. The investigator said the family they tried to blame all of this on. They uh, went to him. They didn't know anything. Well, he's 75, 85 years old. Come on now. We don't have an 18-year-old daughter. Michelle's one of the drug lord's daughters. That's why she has men walking around. Judge's kids don't have it. Just like the lady said, Sunday in Marshall's and Belden, it's stupid what's going on. Nobody can get away with these kind of crimes. Nobody can. And George's kids don't have men that work for them, but drug lords do. And they beckon to Princess's call. Because Daddy breaks bones. He handles it himself, and he's got a temper. Okay? All right. That's where they tried, where they went so far and extreme. I found out they were getting in the back of places, telling people they were there to protect me. Stop letting them in the back of places. They don't have a badge. And then verify the badge. Don't let them in the back. It's a drug cartel. It was in the back of the courthouse of Ravenna. And on the day of my divorce, 9 18, 19, was joking around outside my room. He's walking around. Alex, the white haired guy with his hair parted on the side. If they want a video of the guy that actually. Uh, framed retired Judge Pete. Uh, 12, 21, 18, it should be that day. I get a shower, get a house coat on, and I'm stabbed in the neck and bashed in the back of that. It feels like a ball peen hammer. They made up the scam of the chip to cover up the attempted murder. I've beat, raped, and left for dead. I stutter now because of it. I had migraines for two years. Um, he admitted January 4th, 19, and Bob Evans, he left his white comb on day's dresser. And he was holding me down. It's him in a beard where he walked by and Judge Timothy Ludic came in laughing. and we're ready to begin. Because they asked, they had went to Ludic investigators. He didn't know who that guy was. He's just laughing at him for being silly. They went so extreme. They had him walk around uh, in a beard, Santa beard and wig in a row. And then told everybody he was friends with Ludic. And he was letting him get away with crimes. They were framing that judge. First, they tried to frame Judge Stephen up there. And then uh, they went to frame retired Judge Pete and Ludic. And I thought, who the hell did you put in jail that the cartel's framing? Then they tried to frame the Portage County Sheriff's of uh, them uh, breaking constitutional laws, the Fourth Amendment, that no one can be in your home but protected like cases with statements because it's entrapment. Um, and uh, except for protective live cases with statements. And otherwise, they're stocking tapes. Dave told Danny he hired Pete on his own. Pete is Alex in a beard. Where he walked by, I thought, you look like that guy that said he bashed my head in a, a, a 
beard. It was him. There's a video of him. And then confessing on, uh, well, he did it 12, 21, 18. And then he confessed January 4th, 19. The police will have all that. Uh, he's either Michelle's brother or family member. They're running a big con. Where they keep telling you it's a drug scam from the drug dealers that are human trafficking people. They're serial killers. They're scamming people. Nobody can be in your home. That's where the Star County Prosecutor's Office, criminal attorney, and the police departments. It's illegal to be in somebody's home no matter what for protective life cases with statements. Even the FBI can't be in your home. Okay. All right. Uh, and this thing with Will. Now, on a recorded line, Will admitted he had met with that family involved that lost a kid in a traffic accident I had nothing to do with in 2003. But Strange made up a lie that I was faking I was sick when it was a medication error that almost killed me after a bunch of surgeries. And I swelled up and almost died. Medical malpractice documented. But he made up a shitty lie six months later. Had nothing to do with her father running a stop sign into a semi. Um, but um, they used that pathetic excuse. Oh, she was faking. She was sick for four years. All those surgeries. Swelling up like a balloon. Slowly getting well over nine months. Yeah, right. He even knew it was a medication error. But they had to make up a reason to try to kill me. Okay? And I had nothing to do with it. Her father was speeding, ran a stop sign in a semi. My family's home. Just because someone says something shitty about me, had nothing to do with them, why would you want to kill me? Because you're killers. That's why. Okay. So uh, he said I met, uh, he had met with that family in their office 15 years later. 15 years later, had nothing to do with it. Think about it. And I met with those church people, and I know they're trying to kill you because you were faking your sick before. It's like, I really was sick. I have scars everywhere. I got a bunch of false diagnoses, and then proof I swelled up like a balloon and all this other stuff, and almost died. Even lied. I have brain tumors. Dear God, they want to take part of my brain out. Thank God. Another doctor told me it was a medication making me sick, and it took me nine months to learn to walk again and slowly get well. It's documented medical malpractice, documented medication errors that made me sick. But that agent admitted, he, uh, on a recorded line, he told on me and talked to everyone. Okay. I bet he was one FBI agent, John, that was verified. It was him telling on me the night before where I told him someone told on me and called me a liar. It was him. Uh, at Pamers, he told over 300 people. Strange's church has over 200, and so does Blaylock's church. He told easy five to 900 people, bad guys, before he talked to me. And he confessed on a recorded line for him and inform him. Uh, I talked to a criminal attorney, prosecutor's office, the police. He does not, because of the freedom of speech, the First Amendment, he does not have the authority to even ask you to stay quiet. But then it comes down to the point of stupid. Nine, all the bad guys know, and he already confessed. He talked to all of them. He doesn't have the authority to ask you to stay quiet. It is not in a court order. He is lying to people that it's in a court order. I talked to the prosecutor's office. No sitting judge would sign his own arrest warrant by taking someone's freedom of speech away without being a sequestered or grand jury, and you're not in the middle of a trial. They would never put a gag order on somebody. You, you have a freedom of speech. The uh, Department of Justice would put that judge in jail. He's lying to everybody. I looked it up. The only thing that they can put in the court order is your protection, your money, and your immunity, living and housing expenses, and a medical card. He stole my money on the first day. December 2nd, 22. They said at Wendy's Alliance. Uh, they said October 6th, 23. November 20th, 23. And that he took a payoff. And they said in January of 19 and January to March of 19 that they, and he, they have bragged all through the case that he stole my money on the first day. He opened the case and just stole it. He confessed himself December 14th, 23, 4.45 p.m. And the police taped him that he was in it with Dave and he stole my money. Someone needs to arrest FBI agent John. He's stealing from cases like this one sheriff I'm friends with. He said, you know, he stole your money. You are not his first victim or his only victim. He is stealing from cases. And he's too arrogant about it. Uh, but yeah, it, the only thing they can put in there is the money, immunity, uh, living, housing, expenses, and a medical card. And every case comes with money. I talked to a criminal attorney. He said the same thing. And it's for working the case. They cannot ask you to stay quiet. He is only a higher police officer. No sitting judge would break the law and sign his own arrest warrant. He's lying to everyone to get away with this. 
So he's going to say he was in it with Dave in the drug cartel to frame the Portage County judges and sheriffs so that he could embezzle money hmm, and that they get arrested. There was big, I kept thinking, who did they put in jail that they're getting even with them? Big drug arrest, 17 and 18, a cartel between Ravenna and Canton, heavy sentences, several big arrests, and they were getting even with them. So is that what FBI agent John's saying? He's approving of human trafficking, drug beat rape. He told Apostolic Church of Barberton he knew us being drug beat raped and didn't care. The night before, the women were talking about it. He knew I was being drugged and raped and framed, laughing at me on a recorded line about some guy named Pete and Pete's Alex. There is no way in hell that he didn't know that wasn't retired Judge Pete. And he did not know that that wasn't a drug lord's daughter. Probably scare you, hmm? It was a big drug scam. He was to arrest him the first day for walking in his office. I'm going to upload this.